Here's a nice piece of shit. It's time for Blumpkin and Friends, starring your host, the Reverend Johnny Blumpkin. Oh, dear God, no! Hey kids, I'm the Reverend Johnny Blumpkin, and with me here today is my friend, Joey Black, of, of, genre treason. Oh yeah. God, really? No, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> I, I don't know my own... I like to start every episode off just like a fucking idiot, is what I do. I gotta fix it. It's tradition like now. Yeah, and what else are you of? The the crew unappreciated, who's amazing. Who's and amazing. Dr. Murr is blowing the fuck up on YouTube right now. Is he? Like 30-something thousand views. Awesome. Yeah. I had not heard that. Yeah. Yeah. Because of a beatbox video. Yeah, it was shared uh, by one of the big beatbox promotions. Yeah, Beatbox International. From. Yeah, Swiss Beats Box, something. I don't know. Swiss Beats? I could look it up. Not the... Swiss Beats. It's like, beat. I don't fucking know. I could look real quick. Uh... But... I don't know! And eventually, <laughs> eventually, you'll be a part of... Uh, uh, fuck buddies. Fuck buddies. <laughs> I've been it's going to be hilarious. I I've been wait. combing through beats. Yeah? Yes. Awesome. And uh, Reese Hartfelt came up with a song title. I don't know if I told you this. Maybe. Hungry Hungry Bimbos. <laughs> no, I did not hear that one yet. That's amazing. Uh, isn't it, though? <laughs> Today, I'd like to talk about reincarnation <laughs> she just took a serious turn that's hilarious yeah i just totally <laughs> zagged right uh last time i sat down with reese hartfelt we talked about uh the you know afterlife that's cool so today sticking with a similar theme uh we're gonna go with reincarnation hmm. now i don't believe in heaven or hell or god or any of that shit right so it's kind of ironic that i would dedicate an entire episode to it but it also gives you the opportunity to say a lot of interesting funny or dirty things right it makes you think yeah. it makes you think deep thoughts so like they say once you die you come back as something lesser yeah so if i die i could come back as an animal and if the animal i might come back as like a blade of grass and after a blade of grass i might come back as a speck of dirt which is really fucking boring it could be depending on where you are now i want you to think about it if you died, what would you like to come back as? Oh, shit. Anything? Or does it have to be something lesser, like you are saying? Anything? Oh, shit. I don't know, a dragon? A dragon. A dragon would be cool. Or... It would, if they were real. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. was like a thing. I mean, it might be a thing. We don't know. I suppose. <laughs> but yeah, I think a dragon would be pretty sweet, just flying around, spitting fire and shit, eating. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to last more than five minutes once some country fires up their air force <laughs> to shoot a nuke right into your fucking face. Enjoy your five minutes of breathing fire and soaring above the clouds. <laughs> Pick your targets very carefully. I'll have my own island. It'll be fine. Your own island? Yeah, I'll just take over a small island. Yeah, because, you know, like Godzilla. the United Nations... <laughs> they don't have... Even like a, sh a tiny little island like Tonga... Isn't going to fucking have allies somewhere. Tomatonga? No, not... Ah, oh, God damn soon, it, bro. Will you quit? <laughs> Everything is an opportunity to rub the bullet club in my face, you cunt. Because I know you don't like him anymore, so now I got ah, it. Bullet club. Ah, yeah. I recognize him as a necessary evil. That's true. What would you hate to come back as? I don't know, some sort of an insect. A spider. Nobody likes spiders. I would hate to be a spider. I don't know. Fat goth girls like spiders. <sighs> yeah, that's true. Kevin McAllister's brother Buzz likes spiders. <laughs> that guy was an asshole. He was an asshole. And he was ugly as <laughs> sin. Yeah. What a cute little kid uh, Kevin McAllister was. And then his, conversely, his brother Buzz is just like this step, fugly chud. Stepbrother, but yeah. It was his, what? I'm pretty sure it was a stepbrother. Because it was like two families living there. Or maybe it was his cousin. Yeah, no, it was his brother, Buzz, and oh, then his well. fucking aunt and uncle and cousins came. Jesus Christ, do you not remember Home Alone? I remember the second one better. With the pigeon lady. <laughs> yeah, dude, New York. The shitty New York one with Duncan's toy chest. Yeah, but he's throwing bricks off the roof and just nailing that dude in the face. He also, Let's be real, he'd be dead. He also bumped into a future 
U.S. president in the lobby That's of the true. hotel. That's true. Yeah. And Dr. Frankenfurter was uh, the head bellboy. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Fuck! Mm. <laughs> well, when I'm thinking of things that I would not want to be. Yeah, I'm curious now. I am an asshole. And I have a dirty sense of humor. So, like, things I would hate to be reincarnated as. I'm guessing this is going to go somewhere south. Because so, I was thinking, like, living animals. I feel like you're going to go with inanimate objects. Also, yes. Okay. Okay. Number one, put your drink down. I don't want <laughs> I don't want any fucking spit takes right, into the done. equipment, please. Okay. A size 18 pair of yoga pants. That... <laughs> okay. Yoga Make... pants are fucking like airtight. Yeah. And size 18 is a huge bitch. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, we both like women with meat on their bones, but I don't want a yeah. chick that's so fat that I have to lift up 40 pounds of gunt to find her cooch. <laughs> And I feel like that might be... <laughs> now I know why I had me put the drink down. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. The next thing I thought of I would not want to be? Uh, Amy Schumer's bed sheets. I fucking hate that chick. She's smelly. She would sweat a lot. She'd probably yeah. fart in her sleep a lot. She talks about how her vagina smells like a barnyard. Well, what do you think that smells like if her boyfriend gets her all hot and bothered? Mm. It smells like... A rainy a day, barnyard. going to the state fair and walking through the 4-H barn. A wet cow stable. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, it's raining, and it's only supposed to rain a little while, and we want to go uh, get some corn dogs. but why don't we stop by the 4-H barn and look at some animals right now? And since, you know, rain and moisture <laughs> magnify terrible stenches, which is why our farts smell worse in the shower, um, let's go see some animals. Is that really a thing? That, yes. That's why your farts smell worse in the shower. I don't know if I've ever noticed that. Moisture heightens your sense of smell. Oh, well, fuck. Yeah. Hmm. Here's the next one. Yeah. A butt plug. I mean, that's valid. Just yeah. ew. Yeah. Just that's... in a butt. No. Might even be in a guy's butt. Yeah. And I don't care if it's a chick with, like, a really cleanly butt. Hmm. I don't like butt stuff. <laughs> Word. Ew. Uh, toilet paper at a famous Dave's. <laughs> famous Dave. Why out of all restaurants, famous Dave's? Because it's barbecue and barbecue meat with all the slathery fattening sauces. Yeah, but what about like an meat Indian gre- restaurant? No, it's going to be greasy shit. All right. <laughs> Indian food will make your shit smell horrible. Famous <laughs> Dave's will give you mud butt. <laughs> mud butt. Think back to that skit with Chappelle, Chappelle and yeah. mud butt. Mm, mud What's butt. eaten? Ribs. That's true. He what are they known ribs. for? Yeah. Ribs. Point proven. A state fair portageon. <laughs> yeah. How many different sweaty butts yeah. no. and all kinds of gross foods. Yep, I'm holding it. And it's it's just like a cornucopia <laughs> of stinky poos. <laughs> you better drink that and point your face away from the microphone. Yeah, dude, you're good. Don't worry it's about it. It's a pop screen. That doesn't mean it stops you spitting Mountain Dew. It's not Mountain Dew. You're a pop screen. Yeah. Here's another one. A urinal <laughs> cake. Yeah. Because you're always getting pissed on. Yeah, those are gross. When you smell nice. No, they don't. They kind of do. They smell better than piss. I mean, that's true, I guess. Depending on the piss. <laughs> How about a pair of my mom's giant panties? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I did. Oh, uh, yeah. No. They're the size of a t-shirt. They're so big. That's fucked up, man. They're so big. And her farts are so smelly. <laughs> and she's almost 70 now. God damn it. And it's summer. Yeah. Mm. Uh-huh. Mm. It's like a Slim Jim. Beef. Spice. <laughs> Skid marks. Fuck. Period stains. Oh, man. Well, Lynn. probably not anymore. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if she's gone all the way through the chain. She owns tampons. That's okay. Well, I'll find tampon wrappers in the garbage. So unless my dad's got a bloody asshole and I don't know something really important about them, I'm assuming she still bleeds from her vagina. Hmm. Maybe oh. that's just how her soul vents. She is pretty so. aggressive, though. So your dad might have a bloody asshole. Oh, God. <laughs> Poor man. Yeah. Here are some things I would love to be reincarnated oh, yes. as a wolf. Yeah. Valid. Fucking running around, yeah. doing wolf stuff, yeah. eating deer, ripping the throat out of a hunter that thinks he's going to kill you. 
Yeah. Howling at the moon. There's some badass wolves. One day me and uh, Reese were coming home from a show. Uh-huh. And something ran in front of our fucking car. And it was either a big ass wolf or some sort of a sick bear. Like, the thing was huge. <laughs> I'm not crazy. You're looking at me like I'm crazy. A sick ass bear. Like a like a bear aids. <laughs> yeah. No, like a, a just like a, a ill bear. Like it looked like it was losing hair and like like it was sick. Just diseased. Bear aids. Never know. <laughs> hey boys and girls. It's time for another Hey boys and girls. Hey boys and girls. Hey boys and 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 girls. It's time for another It Radio fucking fucking fucker shit and ass tits beer. That's what the kind of lifestyle you grew up with was violence in your family, wasn't no, it? No, nobody hit each other in my family. My folks will never cop to it, but they used to spank me when I was bad. And they'd always, my mom would always threaten to hit me in the ass with this wooden cooking spoon. My mom would just throw the wooden cooking spoon at me because I'd run. My dad actually broke the wooden cooking spoon on my ass once. But you don't you remember it? No, but I have the tattoo of it on yeah, my ass. No. He it broke the spoon. Growing. Here's a funny thing. He broke the spoon, and he wasn't satisfied with my punishment, so he went around the basement looking for something else to hit me over the ass That's with. That's when you run. And he ultimately came up. No, he's like, don't you fucking move. Yeah, you never I'm like, Jesus run. Christ, he's serious. And then he found a ruler, and I apparently got a couple raps on the ass with the ruler, and uh, my dad Do you have any punishment. childhood memories? I have so many, dude. <laughs> And they're all not ass play. No, there is no ass play. I think maybe you've got a problem and you need to talk to a psychiatrist. You're, you're sheltering I'm feelings it. that you're repressing uh, that your dad used to sexually sodomize you with a broken uh, spoon handle. Broken spoon, yeah. No, he just used to shove the spoon part of it up there, mm. turn it sideways. And called it macaroni? Pick, pull it out, eat it like a chip, salsa, awesome. shit, so, shitty salsa. Shitty salsa. And you still don't have AIDS, all because your dad uses a sanitized spoon. I don't have AIDS. Frosty has AIDS. I have bear AIDS. He has bear AIDS. Bear They're AIDS. curable, but That's, I have to kill the cure. the cure is in his blood. In like his blood or like the blood in his I, blood? Boo-boo. I need to suck it out of to his get ass. get rid of bear AIDS, you need to rape another bear. Fr- you are now listening to Blumkin and Friends. You know what else a wolf can do? What? Hang out with Ethan Hawke. <laughs> yeah? White Fang. No, I know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's the next one. I re- If you don't know who she is, I'm going to be really upset with oh, you. Oh, fuck. I would love to be Deanna Perrazzo's ring shorts. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, no, of course I know. God, I want to wear her pussy like a gas mask. <laughs> and for people out there like, oh, my God, you have a wife. All right. <laughs> All due respect to the Dirty Bee, I got married. I didn't get neutered. Yeah. I'm not going to legitimately fuck other women, but I can still, I'm still sexually attracted to attractive women. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, hello. And Deanna Perrazzo, holy Christ. She, yeah, she's pretty, pretty incredible. I would, I would let her queef in my mouth. That's disgusting, but okay. No, it's, it's, it's not. It's not. That's kind of weird. Uh, Charlene Theron's tampon. Um, I, what? <laughs> I mean, she's attractive and all, but why would you want to be a tampon? Well, what else is going up in her sniz? I don't know. She's got to have a vibrator or something. Wouldn't you uh, rather just be that? Do you really think Charlize Theron has a fucking vibrator? Every girl has a vibrator. No. <laughs> My wife doesn't. Well, you're the vibrator. Right. <laughs> a pizza cutter. I mean, that's awesome because you're always going into pizza. Right. Yeah. Right. And as long as you don't break. That's true. Yeah. And hopefully you don't, yeah, hopefully you're not one of those little shitty plastic ones. Nobody should ever buy one of those. I don't think anybody does. I think they're just kind of giving them. You mean those really <laughs> chintzy ones with like, with like the crappy handle where you just hold half the blade yes. and roll it and you're <laughs> yes. perilously close to slicing open a fingertip? Exactly. Oh, man. I mean, it'd be cool because then you could fuck with people too and slice people open, but. Why, is Papa John Jack the Ripper? Maybe. <laughs> we don't know. Look what the guy from Jimmy John's does. He's fucked up. You mean Subway? No. Well, him too. The guy from Jimmy John's, though, is like one of the guys that goes and hunts the big game. He's a dick. And he has like a naked picture like him like spooning with like a dead shark or dolphin or something. I don't know. It's on the internet. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, no. There's just a lot of people that boycott Jimmy John's. Nude spooning a dead shark. Yeah. Or dolphin. Or dolphin. Either way, sure it's it watertight. So, I mean, <laughs> if you get in there, 
<laughs> As Montez would say, that's that Stingray coochie. <laughs> I fucking love her college. I've been watching the entire series. We got it on DVD as a wedding present. <laughs> nice. Yes. That's a great, great show. Here's the final thing I thought of that I would love to be reincarnated as. And you probably aren't going to know who she is, but I wish you would. Do you know who the actress Juno Temple is? Um, she shows her tits in everything. She was in Killer Joe. She was in that movie uh, with uh, Harry Potter when there was like some weird love triangle and she had died. Oh, um, she was horns. Also, huh? Horns. Horns, yeah. Yep. Yeah, the Dirty Bee showed me that one. Mm-hmm. And then she was also in Sin City too. Yep. Okay. Okay, now I know who you're talking about. Juno Temple. Yep, she's hot. Mm, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I would like to be her vibrator. Oh, she has a vibrator, but Charlize Theron does not. Well, Charlize Theron is like 40. Yeah, and? All right, and she still looks like she's 25. Mm-hmm. Whereas I feel like Juno Temple has been with the same dude for a long time, and she just strikes me as the kind of girl that would like a little bit of a little sex toy play. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So we're just judging these two strictly based off what they're looking like now? Come yeah. On. Come on. Yeah, because one of them could easily be mistaken for a really attractive prostitute. <laughs> And the no. other one looks like the kind of woman where it would cost you like an NFL game salary <laughs> check just to spend an hour anywhere near her pussy. <laughs> I put out a poll to the listening audience Ooh. to find out what they would think. And here are some answers. Uh, little Lindsay, who was in the second Newlywood game episode with her husband, Jake. Okay. She would hate to be barnacle larvae. That's really specific. And I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> How do you even know what that is? Right. She's like, Wild Kratz. The fuck are Kratz? Wild Kratz is a children's show on PBS, and they oh. have all kinds of... It's a show about animals. It's to oh. teach kids about animals. Oh. They have creature powers. Okay. They like have these little suits and these wrist things. They put a disc in with info about an animal. Okay. And then they like morph into like some humanoid version of the animal. Interesting. Yeah, no, I haven't seen that. It's not a very good show by my <laughs> standards. I'm more of a sesame guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, she would love to be a hippo. <laughs> She's always been obsessed with hippos. I mean, they are kind of cool looking. No, they're butt ugly. And they fucking <laughs> smell. And they have jacked up teeth. Mm, yeah, yeah. Have you, ever, have you ever seen the video of that uh, hippo farting at a zoo? <laughs> no. Clearly somebody's overdubbed fart sounds to make it way worse. But it's just like a hippo wagging its tail while okay. it's farting and it's smacking away turds so it's just like raining <laughs> shit <laughs> oh, and that's how hippos go poop hmm. <laughs> uh neil which big, neil big neil okay regular neil <laughs> neil classic right he would hate to be a match i suppose your single use yeah you're and you're on and fire down. yeah that would suck it's valid he would love to be a bird of prey. No specific type, just any kind? I, you could be an eagle or a hawk or an owl, but you're a bird of prey. Okay. And it's cool. Fly around, eat shit. Well, uh, yeah, like eat smaller animals, not yeah. shit. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, eat shit. I don't think he wants to be a seagull <laughs> and eat fucking garbage and possibly poop. Mm. You fly around and poop on people. Yeah, uh, newer collaborator, uh, the babysitter of my kids with... The Beast. Yeah. Would be the lovely Miss Ivy. Okay. Said she would like to be a parrot so she could still swear. <laughs> That's, yeah, you still be able to talk. Yeah. yeah. But she would hate to be any kind of bug. Yeah, kind of, I was, yeah, I went the same way, kind of, except I zeroed in on spider, but yeah, really any kind of bug. Well, she said, unless it was a female praying mantis. Well, I mean, all right, fucking kill. Cool. You want to talk about Tinder whores, female praying <laughs> mantises. <laughs> Like, That's come true. on over, let's fuck. Oh, here's a picture of my thorax. <laughs> I don't know if that particular kind of bug has a thorax. I'm not an entomologist, but that sounds pretty fucking funny, right? Yeah, dude, it's good. And then you go over, and then you fuck the shit out of her, and then she eats you. Yeah. Rude. Yeah, that sucks. Other Neil. Okay. Little other, Neil. <laughs> other Neil. He would hate to be a lab rat, because you never oh, know yeah. what they're going to do to you. Oh, yeah. They might try to grow an ear on you. They might try to grow a dick on you, like in South Park. I'm fine with that. Well. Eek, a penis. It's Mr. Garrison's penis, though. No. <laughs> Mrs. Garrison. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, he would love to be a shark because they are an 
apex predator and they don't lick balls or ass. <laughs> they don't clean themselves that way. That's true. That's yeah. true. They're always in water. They don't need to. Current RPS champion, Nurse Ashley. She would hate to be a toilet. That's 100% valid. That Especially my toilet, because I take some raunchy dumps. <laughs> I can imagine. And that's also where I deposit my jizz when I rub one out. <laughs> No cleanup. No cleanup. I get where you're going. Yeah, I pull, I lift up the seat and the lid, and I kneel in front of it, and then I go off into my spank <laughs> bank in dreamland, and then I kind of like kneel like you're kneeling in church. Like I go from sitting in the backs of my feet like a kid watching TV <laughs> to on my knees to fucking, yeah, like, my toilet's perfect height for my dick to be right there. God damn. All right. That was way too much of his vision there. That's. We're Eskimo brothers, and you're not okay with picturing me masturbate. I fucked her first. <laughs> Let's, I just want to point that out to you. you Sass mouth. God damn it. Yeah. She's probably going to hear this. I don't so. care. She is um, fine sorry. with it. Yeah, she's I fine. mean, she's fine. She's funny like that. She's cool. But still, that's fucked. <laughs> like... Well, I'm just saying. Oh, man. Also, in case you were wondering, I'm a dry guy. <laughs> Oh, man. No oh, lube. Oh, all right. No lube when I, I do that. Good to know. Wow, Durs, you're a dry guy? Man, that makes so much sense. <laughs> Fuck. All right. She, Nurse Ashley would love to be the castle at Disneyland. Um, I Okay. I don't really know what to say to that one. You're just there. You're just yeah. a structure that people love, and they take pictures in front of you. And Who hates the castle at Disneyland besides, like, ISIS <laughs> or Al-Qaeda? Yeah. I don't know. You know, or poor people that see it from outside the gates of Disneyland and they're eating out of the trash <laughs> from Disneyland. You know, I bet you the people that work there eventually hate it. Probably. Probably. Number one fan, Tim. <sighs> what? He would hate to be, quote, a liberal. Shut up! Oh, jeez. Yeah, I was like, really? Are we doing, We're going are, this are route we doing now? this? <laughs> are we... Uh... I'm not even touching it. <laughs> but he would love to be reincarnated as a bird. That's cool. Birds are popular because you can fly yep. and poop on cars. Yeah, more people. Uh, my my friend Nani, he would hate to be a tampon. <laughs> as opposed to where you would love to be one. I'd like to be a very specific person one. It's true, but still. You know, I wouldn't like to be a tampon in a women's prison. That'd be terrible. Mm. All the mm. rancid disease coochie that goes on there. Plus, they're unshaven, most likely, and uh, probably a Lee Press-On nail left up inside, or maybe some <laughs> drugs. You never know. Uh, he didn't say what he'd like to be, but I know he really likes wiener dogs, so I, I figure he would like to be a wiener dog. Yeah, I think I mean, he's okay with me saying that in his favor. Word. Wiener yeah. dog's pretty cool, at least in my experiences. Graham of It Radio would hate to be a condom. Yeah. You're always on a dick and just getting semen filled. Well, he was thinking you just sit in a wallet and then you get used and abused. Yeah, that's true. And then thrown away. Yeah. And then pumped full of jizz. (laughs) And what if you break? Yeah, exactly. Mm. Then somebody's going to hate you even more. That's true. Then they already do wearing you not feeling vagina. Yeah, condoms suck. They do. (laughs) But he would like to be a leotard. For? He said, (laughs) quoting the movie Biodome. Okay. I'd love to come back as like a leotard. <laughs> He's a Pauly Shore fan. I am Free too. Mahi Mahi. Yeah. If you will. Fucking A. <laughs> Reese Hartfelt said he would hate to come back as himself. Oh, fuck. I knew. I could have told you that one. I could have told you that it's one. It's getting a little played out. That I fucking kid. I swear. I'm surprised he's not a cutter. Yeah. No, he's, he's, he's turning sober now and he's eating healthy and he's got a second job that he's starting. So he's on the upswing. I hope so. Hopefully. <laughs> he better stop being an emo. Yeah, I mean, I love the kid. I love the kid. But everything. I mean, it's kind of funny because it's his whole shtick, but every answer is. is uh... <laughs> yeah, it's depressing. But we love him. <laughs> he would love to be a golden retriever. Uh, yeah. That makes sense. He kind of looks like one when he grows his hair out. He's he does. A, he's a good boy. He says they, they always look so happy. <laughs> That's true. That makes sense. And then for additional input, I trolled the uh, the Doug Stanhope fan group on Facebook. Kind of your favorite group on there, huh? Kind of, but I'm getting sick of all the political fighting on there. I might have to That's step away for man. a while. Yeah. Jesus Christ. 
So one guy said a bike seat and a fat girl's bike seat. <laughs> I'm like, well, which is which? He's like, you decide. Well, uh, fair enough. Fair enough. And I'm thinking to myself, well, she's fat. So how often is she even riding that bike? <laughs> You're just kind of sitting there in the shed getting neglected. Hmm. <laughs> Somebody else said they would hate to be a frog due to the weird tadpole phase, but they would like to be a tortoise. Aren't we all in the weird tadpole phase at one point? Yeah, it's not the same. <laughs> like if you're a tadpole, uh, the amphibian, you might get eaten by a fish or sure. a bird. Whereas if you're sperm, you might get eaten by... Knuckles. What? Well, I was going to say a shower drain. <laughs> shower drain. Or my toilet. <laughs> or left to swim in circles until you run out of energy and just die inside of a yeah. condom. Kleenex. On the glass of the peekaboo booths <laughs> at Sex World. <laughs> Gross. Yeah. Oh, shit. And then somebody said, a human. Hmm. He'd hate to be reincarnated as another human because there's too much to do to survive. You have to look for food and you have to get a job to have money to buy food and a place to live to get shelter and all yeah. that shit. So there's too much work. Sucks. So he's like, I'd love to be a cat. Sure. Because if you, you could be a total asshole and people do everything for you. Yep. Yeah. They feed you, they pet you, they brush you, they shovel yeah. your shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. Here's my notes. Oh, we're done with the notes now? Oh, shit. And now, Jeremy Irons raps. Never will I die. I'll be back reincarnated as a motherfucking mac i love it because in heaven there's no shortage on g's i'm telling you now you motherfuckers don't know me that was jeremy irons raps you're listening to blumpkin and friends we have reached the point of the episode where it's time to play a game. <laughs> I think I know where this is going. You are the next contestant on Word Orgy. Awesome. I'm ready to suck again. Word Orgy. Two unrelated items that make up one new phrase. And if you get the answer, I'll heap on you, my praise. Some of them may seem too hard, but I won't let you quit. So pay very close attention to both my description. Pop culture icon and other random shit. It's time to play word or G. How many will you get? I'd like to point out this is your fourth time playing. Yep. You have you have the all time points lead with thirteen. Ooh. You also are in a three way tie for the record with six total points in a game. I'm not counting the eight out of fifteen because right. you know it's it was eight out of fifteen. Right. So, without further ado, number one. A rap producer and the author of of the Hobbit. The author of the Hobbit. Fuck, I hate those movies. Um, shut up. <laughs> I said author, and he said I hate those movies. Yeah, and well, obviously that means I've never read the book. Um, uh, yep, I'm gonna bow out of this one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, starting out hot. That's mm. yep. It would be Juicy J R R Tolkien. Mm. Juicy J. See, I kind of thought of the last name, the Tolkien thing or whatever, but I didn't know the first part no. to put it together. No. So nothing and, went with and it. And Juicy J yeah. has done, you know, he's like a producer. He does a lot of singles, but who is he known for working with and being a part of? Three Six Mafia. Three Six Mafia, who you have played a show with before. Well, technically it was the Mafia Six, quote unquote, because. It's uh, the same yeah. fucking thing. But yeah, J Jay wasn't there though. Six <laughs> degrees of separation. Yeah, true. There's you. Yeah. Number two. A paper-based information directory and an audio version of a story. 
An audio version of a story. Hmm. I struggled with this one because I don't use words from the clue in the final answer. <laughs> um, phone book on tape? That's right. Oh, shit. I pulled that one out of nowhere. All right. Making a check. <laughs> Number three. A town known for blues and a nerd who got revenge. A nerd who got revenge. Hmm. I can't think of any of their names from Revenge of the Nerds. Hmm. Really? None of them? Not really. Like, uh, three of them right out of the gate should be uh, easy. So Okay, a city that's with blues. So, Nashville Booger. <laughs> really? I don't, I don't. I got nothing. Pitch Black Dog. Pitch Black Dog. <laughs> Fuck you, Neil. <laughs> What is it? St. Louis Skolnick. Oh, jeez. Okay. St. Louis, the blues. Yeah, yeah. I said known for blues, not the blues. Gotcha. I had to keep it ambiguous, fuck your face. Yeah. <laughs> Number four. A gay football player and a former Timberwolves player. Uh, I don't watch basketball. And I forget what that dude's... The first gay football player that came out, I forget what his name was, but he bounced around like three teams on the practice teams. Uh, tap. I tap. Michael Sam Mitchell. Fuck. Come on, Sam Mitchell. Yep, yep. He was, <sighs> yeah. This one, I think this next one's going to jam you up. I They're all jamming me up. Okay, mister, I'm so good at this game, and when other people don't get them, I just, like, scream at the phone and the radio, like, God damn it. Yeah, it's true. Number five. (laughs) A Stallone movie set in the future, and a Briscoe Brothers catchphrase. Uh... Come on, Eli Manning, use your words. (laughs) Uh, uh, football. Football. Um... I can't think of any of the. You can't st- think. I, of, all I can think about is Judge Dredd. If you figure out the one, it'll usually lead you to the other. But the only Briscoe Brothers thing I can think of is their fucking intro to the song, "The Reach for the Sky, Boy." Uh, that's the only thing I can think of. So I got nothing. You're such a bitch. You're a bitch. That is Demolition Man up. Oh, God damn it! Yeah, you're so busy riding the Bullet Club's dick. <laughs> That you're not paying attention to someone who's been... Two guys that have been staples of Ring of Honor. Oh, they're great. I know. For, I'm just... Jesus Christ. Man up! Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you. I don't like what they're doing with Bully Ray. Side this, note. This is not the time I know. to Side discuss note. that. <laughs> Anyways. Vagina poopy. <laughs> Number six. A former U.S. president and... He's already groaning. <laughs> A movie sequel featuring Uncle Fester. John Adams Family Values? I'll accept that. Cool. John Quincy or, Adams Family Values. Yeah. But you, you got the John Adams. That was his name. It's true. I'm putting a check. Number one fan, Tim, is pissed. <laughs> it's only two. It's not like I'm doing anything this game anyway. Number seven. A Disney movie about dogs. And... A trashy tattoo. <laughs> Lady in the Tramp Stamp. That's right. Nice. We are getting to number eight, and you have three. Yeah. Won't be breaking your record today, will you? Nope. Number eight. A show about a terrible spy and a cellular device. About a terrible spy. Uh. <sighs> Nice. Yep. Um, nope. That would be get smartphone. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. God yeah, you should be ashamed. That was three words. Number nine. A red solo cup loving country singer. Oh, gr- yeah, because I listen to country. And a rolling stone. Uh Toby Keith Richards. Yes. How about that? We're at four. <laughs> We're at four. Ah, I don't know if you're going to get this next one. Yeah. Number 10. 
Oscar the Grouch's signature song, and a hardcore punk band. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I got Oscar's signature song, so I'll just go ahead and say I don't know it. Dude, I don't know. when was the last time I watched Sesame Street? Well, if you're me, it was last night. Yeah, no, I'm <laughs> not. <laughs> you're missing out. Yeah. That would be I Love Trash Talk. <laughs> Trash Talk, who's frequently featured on the Eric Andre show. Mm, that's a funny show. I Love Trash. Okay. God, you're such a bitch. Yeah, I didn't know that. I, I'm 33. I haven't watched Sesame Street in fucking forever. Maybe you had turned it on to give yourself a refresher on numbers and letters and <laughs> friendship concepts. Ooh. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? What, is that a shot? What are you doing? <laughs> I brought my Bullet Club umbrella <laughs> because I'm such a brand whore to show off because I know you hate them. Bullet yeah. Club. I was li- I was going to dress like in all Bullet Club stuff, but I didn't. Because so. you wanted to be buried in my backyard in all Bullet Club stuff? <laughs> hey, there's a weird uh, uneven section in the floor of your shed, and when we pulled up the OSB, there was freshly compacted dirt. Oh, by the way, your friend that was supposed to be here, uh, he, he's missing, and, and uh, his car's down the block. What the fuck? Oh, that's weird. Well, tell the folks how to get a hold of genre treason again. <sighs> well, the website is unappreciated.life. That'll get you everything. Genre treason, Wit Ruckus, Dr. Murr, Reese Hartfeld. Um, you can get at Reese on Snapchat. His name is Whiskey Chicken. My name on there is genre treason PSB. We have Instagram, we got Facebook, we have Twitter, at John Treason, at Unappreciated, etc. All pretty simple stuff. Um, at Heart Headed. Heart Headed is Reese Hartfelt's, yes. Um, of course, I have my Joey Black one as well, but that one is, there's a lot of wrestling shit on there, so you don't really need to follow that one if you don't want to. There's Why? the genre Treason. You don't one. think people want to get updates about what new merch <laughs> is in the store for the Young Bucks? Oh, jeez. I don't I don't need to retweet that. They're getting plenty of attention. <laughs> Interact with the show on Twitter at Blumpkin Show. That is at Blumpkin Show. You can find us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash group slash Blumpkin and friends. And friends. We are on YouTube. Like and subscribe. And as always, <laughs> I'm the Reverend Johnny Blumpkin. Yeah, you are. I'm Joey Black. Good night. That this potent that I'm smoking is open emotion No vocal distortion to its very limits I am better by coping with emotions And pulsing loud enough so the whole fucking neighborhood will hear it But I ease to the fan Instead of jump right in and hold my heart up Oh, oh, oh With a tear to the gimmick of my mirror systems Acting like I really have myself a role But I can barely spell and barely read Just a stupid motherfucker that's assumed to be a human being While I my ears are shields, I use my lips as weapons She disables both with a lock arms I am evil, destined to my piece of excellence Surpass me long enough so I don't need to second guess it With a battling pose in the burn So bros laid out on a filthy dirt road I say, wanna speak my lies She does say much I am who I want to be And then she runs Leave me for dead inside a place of it's like a fork in the road that never goes away She's the love of your life, but she doesn't want to stay Just me and my girl walking hand in hand We plan and plan, but nothing seems to stand So what should we do? Where should we go? Couldn't give up or continue down this road We can scream and scream, but no one seems to hear Take my hands off the wheel, now I feel we'll never steer I'll leave it to fate, it was written in the stars Just me and my boss trying to hide these scars Am I up to par? Am I up to snuff? When shit gets rough, tell me what's enough enough I'll follow her lead, she's already in my veins She's the pin to my pants, she's in every blood stain Every tear I cry, she's the sun in the sky She's every breath I take, without her I would die Wanna speak my thoughts, she doesn't say much I am who I want